Looks like a riverbank, doesn't it? The only thing is, we're on top of a mountain. No river around here for miles. But it is a river. This is the carcass of a mighty ancient river you're gazing upon here. And just as modern rivers collect gold, ancient rivers collected gold too. And the old timers figured that out and ran underground placer mines, just like this one, chasing the gold that collected on the bedrock of the ancient river channels. This is a classic example of that right here, and it looks like a good one. So let's get in and check it out. All right, heading in. Definitely not the typical look for a mine, is it? The timbers on the ground right there. Very soft. Yeah, very sandy and actually surprisingly deep. But mines are usually built on inclines, so hopefully we'll get a bit out of the water. Whoa. We're only about 15 feet in, and I'm already up to my waist. It's higher to the left. Stay okay. Over there. I will move to the left then. Get off all this uh, timber. Okay, I've passed those timbers. And there's still a bunch of timbers I'm walking on, but they're lengthwise, so easy to walk over. You see the added bend to the right up there. Still lots of timbers on the ground, so even though they're lengthwise, it's not easy to walk on them. I think there might be some strap rail down there. I see two I doors on. Pipe. Yeah, I think I was slipping on a pipe too. And then now I'm walking in the middle. It's easier if you walk in the middle now. I'm on the pipe. Uh, I just went off of the, whatever I was walking on. This pipe on the left now. Coming through the bend. It looks pretty solid. Uh-oh. Not a good sign ahead. That's the portal where we came in. You can see the sunlight there. And you may have noticed a bit of an interruption in the video. And the reason for that is that I abandoned the video when I came around the bend and looked forward and saw that. That was to the ceiling, it was very discouraging, so I thought, well, I'm not gonna get a video out of this mine. So I put the camera away and just sort of poking around. And in the meantime, we saw these two little side drifts here and went and checked those out, but I didn't even bother recording because you know, I thought that they wouldn't go back very far. There's also one over here. Again, didn't bother recording because I didn't think they went very far. This one on the right um, just goes back a little ways and it's caved. You see the uh, ancient river channel here, the guts of it here. This one actually went back farther and wound around a bit, wound around a bit but it uh, wasn't too exciting. I'll show you some still images of that. If you're interested in the video probably or maybe now depending on how i feel when i'm editing but you might wonder why did i turn the camera back on well while i was looking around up there one of my buddies started working on this and worked on it and worked on it and we actually got through it we got to the point where we started taking turns and we started seeing progress but we dug this out this is all freshly disturbed because we are pulled back yeah, up and through there. I know it doesn't look very possible, but we got in it. So there he goes. That's Jake going up through the uh, death chute, as he called it. Good as name as any for it. That is a tight squeeze. <laughs> There it goes. Okay, that's the hole that we squeezed up. Not easy to do, as you can see. Had to worm our way up there, but got it done. That, I believe, ties into the drift on the right that was caved. 
that has that look and it's in the right location. But you're probably wondering what's ahead of us. And I don't blame you because this is pretty interesting. You can see, of course, the guts of the ancient river channel still. And we're up on, it's kind of hard to tell, it almost looks like backfill or another shelf. You can see my other body down there. A bunch of ventilation tubing there on the ground. And right there. And like I said, you can see I'm walking on the shelf here. A couple slabs down there. And the most interesting thing to me actually is that there's pretty good airflow here, which I did not expect and I have no idea where that could be coming from. So see the old electrical wiring right there. These layers just kind of a cool view. You can see there's drift going that way, drift going that way. It's kind of cool. If I don't slip going down this. You see those slabs come off really easily. You see that fracture line right, right there and there. This whole section is ready to come off, which is already done where we're standing. So hopefully that doesn't do it while I'm going by, but that kind of thing tends to happen more often in the winter when it gets saturated. But that's what you gotta watch out for. Let's climb down from that slab there. I've got a good view here. This here looks like a bunch of serpentine here, which no surprise, it's crumbly and flaking. We've opened up into a nice gallery here. Uh, you can see my other buddy there, I guess, sense of how tall this is. He's not a dwarf, so that's pretty high. He said there's rail there. There's more of that serpentine here and the drift going off to the left with some wood, and I have no idea what that is. Does that keep going where you are? Yeah, um, I'm waiting for you. I don't know if you want to video the rail underwater, because the second I walk through, you're never seeing it again. Okay, I would. I would appreciate that. Let me there's just get this. Up ahead, ladders or something. Wood, I don't know. There's a huge pocket up here. Oh, nice. All right, let me get this on the left real quick and I'll catch up to you. I almost just tripped over a rail. Careful stepping through that, Jake. Okay, so that is covered in orange funk. I have no idea why. That's an old ventilation pipe, but look at it was spray painted neon, but that's not. That's some natural substance. A lot of wood back here. More of that orange stuff on that old uh, can right there. That's metal. Both of those things are metal, so whatever that is, is attracted to metal. This just stops right here. And this branch just stops right here. That's it. So let's go catch up for that main drift heading to the left from where we are now. All right, I just came from that little drift running off to the right there, left on the way in. And I've come into this main attic running ahead. And you can see where the plaster material is sitting right on top of the serpentine bedrock here. That's normally the sweet spot for the gold, is in that zone right there, that contact zone where the, the ancient river material is sitting on the, the bedrock, just in a modern uh, plaster mining environment, such as a river or stream. Same deal underground in these ancient river channels. Just came across there, it's hard to walk in here, but got over to here and a uh, big stope gallery up there. You can see my buddy one up there. Anything up there? Yeah. What's up there? It keeps going. Oh, it keeps going. There's a little drift, there's a bunch of gobbing. There's a sh Everything I'm standing on behind me is, is a collapse. This whole pile is a collapse. Okay, that's normal for this kind of mine. <laughs> if you're a rock hound, man, you gotta get your work cut out for you up here. There's some good stuff. Well, it's the stuff that caves, that's stuff that nobody's let ever, no human beings ever laid eyes on. The colors are amazing. It's, it looks like kind of disgusting. Boxes of melted crayons almost. But huh. Such a color, it goes all the way back that way where we were, right along the side. Ah, okay. Drift in. Cuts back, there's gobbing down there. That looks like it goes somewhere. That way it looks, goes somewhere. All right. Well, that's good stuff. And then... There's stuff running off over here. Is that tie-in, is wrap around and tie-in as well, or? Probably, I'm gonna go follow this and see if it does. Okay, and then, oh wow. Keeps going straight for a long way. Those are the rails that we were talking about. Those are, we were walking those on the way in. Those are actually pretty beefy rails. Those aren't the strap or anything like that. Those are really strong rails. Solid rails, large rails, whatever adjective you wanna use. They're big. This is amazingly high right here. 
Wow. Oh, I can see his light. That obviously wraps around. I can see your light. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah I just saw that too. That means this goes outside. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because we dug it out. So obviously, yeah, there's a way out. That explains the airflow too. I'm very curious where this comes out. So Jake was up there looking around and said there are about six different drifts running off in all directions up there. So he came back and we decided we're going to hit this main drift first and then, because uh, it's so complicated in here, hit the main one first and then do side drifts on the way out. So let's see where this goes. Yeah, and slow walking through here because uh, there's so much stuff on the ground to trip over. And you can't see where you're stepping because there's muddy water. I dropped out. This gallery is incredible. It's all, I don't know why they, they ran down so deeply because this is all bedrock up to neck height or so and plaster above. I don't know why they ran so deeply through the bedrock. Oh, also the trail where I was at. Ah, okay, that's a good sign. He said there was rail up where he was looking around. That's a good sign. That's an outlet he looked down on earlier. That's up where he was looking around. And of course all plaster material up there. And then there's another one. That's this little pocket right there. But I see the clear material out there. Actually a little uh, quartz vein right there. I see some pipes and a couple stoles up there. Oh man, tripping over everything. It's just hard going. Yeah, you guys should be glad I have the stabilizer right now because put down the stabilizer. This would be unwatchable because I'm tripping all over the place. Just took a nice tumble. It's just amazing seeing this ancient river all around me. All right, here's another section running up to the right. My friend Jake came down this one. So this is as far as any of us have gotten. He came out from down there. Again, that's where all those drift levels meandering off were. Got this ventilation piping here. You see the rails and the water there before I muddy it up. And it goes up there and turns to the right. So let's see what's there. These river rocks were laid down when the world was a very different place. A couple hundred million years ago. That's interesting, there's a thin little branch right there. I don't know why that's there. Except to serve as an indicator for a collapse, because it's obviously not doing any support. Or perhaps they wanted to run ventilation pipe off it. Yeah, okay, that's probably what it was. This uh, ventilation tubing on the ground. It's probably just strong off of that. Little pocket right here. You can see where they would scratch away at the sides and chase stuff, but didn't keep going on that. There's a whole piece of dynamite right there, it looks like. Water's getting a bit shallower, which is nice. It's easier to walk on. Another one of those pockets I was talking about. Keeps going. It's interesting. You can see we've risen up off the bedrock now, so I guess they ran the it to the bedrock to make it more level, because Obviously the river, uh, over time, geology shifted and buckled and moved the river channel up a bit in relation to where the adit would run comfortably. So 
Uh, can't tell how far the back that goes, but we'll check later. Anyway, what I'm saying is, it pinches off, you think? All right, well, we'll check later to be sure. Anyway, what I was saying is that the, they had to make the attic somewhat level for ore cars and such, so. As long as they go through bedrock, sometimes they don't have to. Makes more sense now. This just keeps running that way. Big jumble of wood right here. Looks like might have been something here. Well, obviously there's something here, but what is the question? There's another drift running over there. Here's a look at that drift. Looks like little benches leading up there. Lots of things to check on the way out. Whoa, just stepped in a hole. This is going this way. See those insulators right there. This is saying 1930s to me based on the, the layout and the Sorry, it's hard to walk and talk sometimes when you're concentrating on not falling down. See the sandy layers here. Anyway, I was saying it seems like 1930s based on the style of insulators and such. Man, this keeps going. It's wild. Hard to walk in, but. They must have gotten a lot of gold out of here to make this incredible gallery. That's 20 feet overhead. It just runs and runs and runs. Unbelievable. This is amazing, you guys. I'm totally geeking out on this. This is wild. See, look where they are. And look how high it is above them. You got that stolen the way but you can get the idea that's crazy you really see the sand layers in here too it's a lot sandier in here than it was before I wonder if they had a, a false floor or if they just used ladders and picked um that's a good question i don't see signs of indentation in the sides where they would have had false floors so i'm thinking probably ladders because those stole things are not they're not enough of them to have made a platform for them to stand on See the sedimentary layers right there. That is wild. Imagine what it would look like it's outside when this river was running through here. That looks like it just goes forever, doesn't it? Do you see how see, do you see how far that goes? No, I can't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's nuts. Oh, this is cool. Look at the pick marks. You guys see those pick marks? They didn't have to blast this. This was soft enough. I could just pick it out. That's crazy. You can really see the layers of sediment along here, which is cool. And see what crosses over there. Obviously, it would have run all the way across. Oh, you can really clearly see the pick marks here. Look at that. I wouldn't even really think this would be a great spot for gold, but maybe they're getting some fines out of there. It's a piece of rail right there. See the rails here. Maybe they did have a platform. Hard to say. Oh wow, look at this color display. That's cool looking. All these minerals here. Wow. 
Yes. That looks wild. I don't know if it looks like frosting on a cake or what, but that looks amazing. Wow. This is the kind of thing that cavers uh, see and geek out on. This is really amazing. I just think I gave up on this mine too. How crazy is that? I was, I was walking away from it. We started digging it. Looks like there's a junction up there. There's another uh, shelf here. And again, you can see where they picked everything out. There's a view back at them. You can see how high it is above them. I'm glad they're here so you can see that. That's amazing. All right, let's see what this junction's about. That platform idea is making more sense now because it looks like they just drove boards right in the side. I don't know if that would be strong enough to support them. I guess if they ran nails into it, could do it because, yeah, it's sand and gravel, but after countless millions of years and pressure, it's, pr it's not like the sand and gravel you'd see in a normal river. It's uh, much more compacted. Yeah, look, you can see bits of wood stuck in the side. So. I guess they had platforms overhead to stand on. So, rail junction here. And I got something. Wow, that looks pretty messy. Something going off to the left. And a much cleaner looking at it running ahead. It says J too, so. I guess I have to go to the J on the right. Looks like the remains. A dynamite box right there. So many drifts back here, it's unbelievable. Looks like we lost the sand and we're back to sort of the river mud. Uh, it looks like they gouged that out and jammed the timber in there, maybe for something to stand on. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking the platform idea makes sense. Maybe that ladder's too, maybe that combination of everything. All right, I'm gonna let those guys catch up and then we can uh, start down the J drift this way. All right, my friends caught up to me and uh, we all agreed that going down the J drift would be the right move for now. We are all J's. We are all J's, that's true. Huh, the rock, rock got very dark all of a sudden. Now look at this. You've got that white, flaky looking rock and then it's suddenly just super dark. That's strange. A little pocket overhead of these slabs and uh, crumbly looking stuff. That's more jagged than the normal ancient river channel. Pretty muddy back here. Alright, it's going to be a slow section. I'll probably pick up over there. Okay, I made it through the dark section there and I've gotten back to the more conventional river rock looking stuff. There's some interesting white funk on the uh, ground there. Don't know what that is, but I try not to walk through it too much. Oh, I just fell into it, so. Uh, it's not too dangerous because I'm still breathing. That's what we found the other day. Uh, there's a bit of rail sticking out here and uh, it looks like it runs up away but I'm gonna stick with the main drag for now which sure keeps running back that way there's a drift there and a stopy section right there oh hey, so dynamite four sticks take all the dynamite ah. oh yeah old looking sticks right there looks like dynamite it's a pretty big timber right there. All right, this looks like it's gonna be really tough going, so I'm gonna put the camera away and uh, we'll pick up in sections when we decide what we're gonna do. Probably keep going straight, even though it's starting to look messy. All right, we just climbed over that section and side drift here actually looks really solid and fairly clean. See that gob in there? We still think this is the main one going ahead, but this side one's calling out to us. 
and it doesn't look too strenuous. So we got a shot. It'd be a very easy mine to get lost in, that's for sure. Whoa, that's muddy. So yeah, look at this gobbing right here. That runs back, tapers off there. Huge rocks stacked up in front of us. And then that ties through to the main drift where we were. These underground plaster mines are pretty messy, as you guys can see. Because the stuff's always crumbling down and, well, you're going through a river. The ground's pretty solid where I'm walking right now. And what attracted us to this section is just how large and spacious this was. Yeah, they wrapped back around here and stopped. Yeah, there was something back here that was wooden, but uh, whatever it was is too far gone to tell now. Looks like, yeah, it looks like bedrocks down here. Somebody's picking up the boulders through here. Again, boulders, those are pretty big. So you can see from the ground there where they obviously had track ties that ran this way. It looks like that might dead end there actually. I think that does. I think we actually might be able to cross something off the list on this massive mine, yeah. That's it, that's the end. All right, well. Obviously, we're going to be heading back down the main drag, but I'm glad we did this one. It gives a feeling of accomplishment to get at least one thing crossed off the list. We just looked down that large drift there. I am back in the main drag, which runs this way. This was like a huge pain to climb where all that stuff though, so I'm going to turn the camera off and pick up down there. We just made it through the water there and come to the next drift section taken off. That chamber just ends right there, doesn't it? Yeah. So there's that timber support chamber that ends right there. And things just dry out right there. That also ends. There's a blast sheet or something you can see between them right there. Bunch of rock stacked up here. Drift keeps running this way. Uh, looks like we're going to have something to climb over there. Something kind of interesting to see where that boulder right there fell out of the side of the adit, or the rib of the adit right there. Shows you what the underlying rock looks like. So, since that looks like a climb, I think I'm gonna turn the camera off and climb over that and then turn up on the other side. We are just back there checking out the side drift there. I've come up on this pile here. There's stuff running off in different directions. So here's a, uh, Stope up there full of rubble. The drift keeps going ahead up that way. There's a ladder there. And they are examining this section here. Pretty cool looking. Those rocks there. I've got a feeling actually that this ties into a mine. That I explored a number of years ago because that looks very familiar to me and those of you who have been watching my videos for a while may recognize that but I think that may be where this is um, let's go see where they're going I was just down there and following these guys up back on one of these rocky stoop chambers they all look like this you guys It's hard not to fall. They all look like this. And anything wooden inside of them is badly rotted and deteriorated. So after a while, they all kind of look the same. And you don't really have any chance of seeing good artifacts. That's kind of interesting. You see they got that cribbing right there. So they stuck those boards in there on top of the rock here. Uh, so you use rock and then the wood is cribbing. You actually don't see that too often in the 
underground plaster mines, so that's kind of cool. Nothing up there, it looks like. This just wraps around. Lots of gobbing back here. After they took out what they wanted, there's no point in hauling these heavier rocks out because here they're not after what's in the rocks. They're here after what's around the rocks. So maybe brush some sand off the, the rocks. And then no reason I'm hauling them out because they're after the gold between the rocks. All right, it still runs back there. So as I was struggling to articulate, these stoop teams are often really full of rocks. All right, I've been working my way through here from over there. Open up to another section here. See a big slab is down, come down there. See the quartz there. Keeps running off there as well. This stuff just goes and goes and goes. These stopes are huge. My buddies are over here behind all these timbers and rocks that have come down. And looks like it just ends right here. These are huge timbers back here, huh? Yeah, a lot of them. I wonder why they had so much. Unless it was like a storage place for. Huh. So yeah, that uh that ends right here. I'm thinking this must have been some kind of storage area. Maybe they had a platform here with stuff on it or they're storing timbers here. Just finished checking out the stopes off to the left there. There's a drift running up there that goes in dead ends. And I'm coming up on this ladder here. And looking at it now, I'm pretty convinced this ties into that uh, underground plaster mine I explored a few years ago, which is the best underground plaster mine I've ever explored. So not at all sorry to tie into this. I think that's really cool. Going ahead is no longer possible. As you can see, that's the end there. And then it just runs up there a little way. So I, I was here years ago, but missed that other adit where we came in. That shows the value of going back and hitting target rich areas because it's easy to miss stuff back here. So I'm gonna go up the ladder and just double check and uh, pick up there. There's the ladder there, it just came up. I'm up on a different drift level now. Similar drift level, but a different one. Those rails that are sticking out are there and there. Coming into another stoke chamber here. You can see all the gobbing there. Really large timbers here. As you can see. Those are massive. But <laughs> Looking around you, you can see why they're needed. This is all stuff that's caved. So, and that, that section we couldn't walk down because the, the main attic we couldn't walk down, that's the top of it that caved down into it. So, the miners were correct in their placement of the timbering, just wasn't sufficient. Good bedrock layer here, you can see pretty clearly along the side and then the ancient river gravel on top there's another stope chamber down there and it runs over through there and down into all that wood down there I'm actually impressed the oxygen meter is not protesting. But it's, it's giving the all clear still. I'll go look over here real quickly. I'm, I'm thinking this is it, but I'm not 100% yet because I haven't seen anything. There's a stoop chamber I'm expecting to see up here. It's got a distinctive look. Don't tell me for sure I'm on the same mine. This came from that section. Push deeper in. See how easy it would be to get lost in here? All of these look the same. There are drifts and chambers running off in all directions. They all look the same. 
It'd be so easy to get back, lost back here. That a chamber I was expecting to see is in there. So this is indeed the mine I uh, hit before. So I'll link to that in the description below the video so you can see what's here in those other sections. That section I just showed you is behind me. The way I came out on this trip is from there. I just want to show you some of these huge slabs that have come down back here. You can see there's actually a timber set down there that's just been crushed under these huge slabs that have come crashing down. So the undermine, underground plaster mines are sketchy, as you can see. Um, but at the same time, this is really impressive. So I'm glad to be able to see more of this amazing mine. I'm gonna drift level run back there. It's just nuts how much this uh, all ties together. All right, uh, my friends, started heading back to go check out some of those drifty paths on the way in. So they're back that way. I'm going to go catch up to them. It's the section that we went and connected to the mine I explored before. We're back at J Drift. As you can see, if you recall on the way in, we opted not to do this section. I'm still not enthusiastic about this section, but I figure it's worth at least sticking our heads down since had the rail coming in here. The, uh, as my friend observed, the bedrock here is actually worse than the plaster material because the bedrock is all this um, serpentine, which is horrible stuff. Miners hate it. Runs back to there. I think that pinches out back there, or it's just cave. By the way, I'm not crawling through that serpentine to get there. Yeah, look at this serpentine. Look how flaky and crumbly this stuff is. Horrible stuff. Hate it. And like you said, it's worse than the uh, plaster material. I'm not saying something. Keeps going. A ton of timbers back here. Big, big timbers. So you can see the miners back in the day were concerned about the serpentine as well. For good reason. It does that. Yeah, look at all these jagged fragments above us. It's kind of cool here. There's a seam of uh, plaster material. In the bedrock? Yeah. Yeah, it's over here. It's, it's blackened rocks packed yeah. in there. Black, blackened rocks packed in is exactly what that is. I can't... Looks like it does keep going up there. Oh, the serpentine is horrible. All this stuff on the ground is all caved. And it's cave serpentine, not cave plaster. You guys might not want to keep coming on this one. Um, it's getting really sketchy. I can go ahead and scout out how that looks up there, but if I were you, I wouldn't follow me. original drift level is way down there somewhere. We're walking over the top of uh, what used to be the top of the, the drift level. Finally getting back on some plaster material. Oh, man. Something keeps running there. Uh, there's something running off down there. And a big stope chamber here. You see up there. And it runs up here. It's like the slab's peeling off up there. This is pretty wild, but definitely black in the back in the plaster. Hey, you guys are crazy. You came with me. What's wrong with you? All right, let's take a closer look at this stuff. Still in this large chamber of the miners. Cleared out here and gotten down lower so I can see what's ahead. And you can see it's uh, caved right there from the work they did up there and then behind me or I should say to my left there's this drift that was running off here but that is also completely caved or backfilled even if there was a possibility of digging it out I don't want to be digging out to that serpentine so don't care enough to do that 
and so I think we'll head back, continue down the main drift. Just finished checking out that bad section. We're back in this section, it's almost like a cathedral right here, and we're heading down to see other drifts that we didn't cover on the way in. Just came through the ancient river cathedral right here. We're at the next drift that we bypassed on the way in. Let's see, one of the jakes has already climbed up. So, um, I think we can all do this. Okay. There's a little water feature here. It's a hole, maybe five feet deep, eight feet across, completely filled with water. But there is a timber in it running across. It's about three inches, four inches underwater. And then some gobbing, climb up, and then it just kind of keeps going up like that. Well, let's, we'll watch you swim. See how it goes. All right. If I do it, will you follow me? There's a good chance. That's definitely a water feature, my friend. Oh, nope. Uh, yeah, she bowed right in. She's soggy. So you're not gonna you're gonna deprive I'm our gonna viewers deprive, of what yeah, is up yeah. there. You know, I fell in. The water's coming to my neck. Well, and then I'm just standing in a wood-filled pool. I mean, it would make for good video. It would yeah. All right. Well, can you at least describe what you can see up around the bend? I just did. It goes like it keeps going up, and it's kind of small, and it either faces out or potentially takes a right. All right. Well. I wonder why they had this here. How tragic that we won't know what's up there just because you're not willing to swim. Yeah. Rude is that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. They well, have the floor here. Yeah, they probably were just falling down to see if they could hit the uh, bedrock there or something. Yeah. All right, well, we'll continue down the turn, ancient though. river cathedral. Back in the cathedral here, and we just were looking down that section. Come up to the next drift. This one is a bit off the ground, as you can see down there. And it runs back. Uh, hard to tell how far back there. It runs back because you got that rubble right there blocking it. But it is my turn, so I'm going to scramble up there and see where that ties in, if it just doesn't face out there. Uh, I just climbed up from down there where my friend is. And we're going to see what is back here. Pretty tight squeeze. Looks like it might just face out right there, but it also looks like it might be something stacked back there. So, I'm gonna have to do it, unfortunately. I can't help but geek out on that ancient river gravel. That is so cool. Actually, a pretty good echo on here. Um, okay, it does end there, but I can't tell what's below there. Okay, I've reached the point where I can see that that doesn't go anywhere, but I'm actually not disappointed to have come back here because if you look at this in front of me, have you ever seen anything like that in a mine? That is crazy. You see how the water gets because it comes up to here, obviously. But that is some uh, very interesting mine funk right there. That's that drift we just checked out with the, uh, well, bowl of cream at the end, essentially. And we are continuing down the cathedral here, and we'll hit the next drift. We've been making our way down this cathedral of the ancient river here, and I've come to the next drift section. My buddy's already gone up there, and we're gonna shoot down there and see what's up there. This looks actually pretty solid. Got the bedrock here, and it's not serpentine, so. Looks pretty good up there. Oh yeah, there's rail. Cool. And, uh, gobbing and it just goes. Awesome. We'll pick up where he is now. Just came from the attic there. And he wasn't lying. There is rail there. That is really cool to see that. I think it's the first time we've really been able to see the rail out of the mud and water, except for that one section where it branches. Cute little tunnel coming through there for the water. Oh, I like that. This is a drift here that's just backfilled with gobbing. That's wild. That's some serious gobbing, too. Same thing right there. Oh, that does. Yeah, they stoke that out a ways. Oh, yeah, it goes back far. Wow. Completely filled the ceiling. Oh, that's what you mean, yeah. They, uh, they backfilled the hell out of that. That runs way back. Did we lose the rail or just, uh, I don't know, the mud? What's that? 
Wait, did we lose the rail? Yeah, we lost the rail. I don't see it, but curious. There's a lot of stuff in there. Ah, bunch of rocks pushed over there, and that gobbing extends through here. Pretty impressive. Bit of a crouch here. Bend over to get through this section. That's a big ventilation pipe right there. Yeah, I gotta stop the batteries. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff. That timber support was well intentioned, but uh, not doing its job anymore. Uh, all right, there's stuff going all over the place here. There's something going there. Something running there. And then, did you come from that direction the first time? Yes. Okay. And that ties into that drift you shot up the first time? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. So you have not checked out these? No. Okay. Well, I like to look at that one in the middle the most. Another section you can see where the uh, contact zone is very clearly right there. That's bedrock down below, and the ancient river channel all packed up on top of it. Okay, this doesn't look like it goes anywhere. No, this just stops right here. Sliding a lot of this stuff. They made a little bench right there. You can see they were chasing the uh, ancient river gravel that was on the top of the bedrock right there, picking it out. But I can see why it's here because. There's some grooves in the rock that could have caught gold right there. Uh, it's just as in modern rivers, but apparently it didn't pay out too well. Otherwise, I'd still have been picking at that for quite a while. That's funny, that little thing runs down right there, almost like it was dug out by a squirrel or some ground squirrel or something. I just checked out that chamber right there. My other buddy went down and checked out this one and said it dropped down at one time, but now it just pinches out, huh? Yeah, it's all back filled in. Well, that makes it easy. I'll tell you guys, it's hard work getting through this mine. It's a good workout. So we've got that section. There was more stuff back there, right? Yeah. Okay. It's another like junction, I think. Okay. We'll climb over all that and pick up back there somewhere. So we we're over there filming and we're making it over this pipe to this other section. Back that way. And I happen to notice there was a drift running off this way. So Jake is checking it out. I'm telling you guys, this mining exploring stuff's hard work. This is that backfield drift we passed on the way in. It continued through here. So we're assessing whether it goes anywhere or if it's worth going down. Pinches out. Oh, it pinches out? Yeah. All right, well. You filled your turn. We know whose turn it is next. There's little Jake making his way out of that section we uh, said we'd come through. Again, not easy. Another chamber here. The Main drift level is down that way. And we looked up this one in the past, but now we're actually up it. See the big slabs back here. Other Jake is checking things out up there behind me. They cleared out some rock. That's the serpentine again. You can see where the bedrock meets it right there. They cleared this out a little bit, but they must not have been too impressed because they went a lot farther up this way. Hard to tell how far that keeps going. Can't tell if he's just finishing out a stoke chamber or if it's a drift level. Here we're just down there where my friend's light is now. Before, we've come up to where Jake was looking around. See what's up here and you see on a big debris pile right now. This is all I probably just caved off the, uh, the back or the top of the attic as they call it. See some big slabs down there. Uh, that's all gobbing through there. Actually, you can see the 
the timber right there is all filled in with gobbing, which looks kind of cool. The other Jake here with me, you can see how far down that runs. There's not a drift right there, just uh, pinches out right there on the right. So what's left is whatever this is up ahead here. It's just up on that pile one minute ago, and there are two drifts down here. There's one running back this way, which would be a serious crawl to do that one. That wasn't very appealing at all. And then in front of me here, it's a little more spacious, but obviously gonna require scrambling over that. There's gobbing all through here though, which is kind of cool. I have to admit, it's almost like, I'm not sure if they're using this to help support the uh, drift here or not, but it kind of looks like it because this has all had uh, gobbing rammed into it. Very sandy right here, which is kind of interesting as well. Uh, hard to climb though, but there's a big chamber right here in this uh, sandy drift, and then it drops into something down there. Just caught up on this pile from down there. You can see I'm on the sandy uh, waste rock pile here. So that just uh, pinches out up there. It's got this kind of sloping backfill the whole way. Okay. But I can't, I can't see the end of it. All right, but that doesn't look like it'd be. That's like one foot haul. Yeah. Right there. So forget that. There is still this dropping off down here. So and that gobbing runs back there too, which looks kind of cool. So we'll drop down there and see what awaits us. Kind of cool seeing that sand layer right there. That's not solid rock, that's just compacted sand right there. And you can see where suddenly you get a bunch of gravel and bigger rocks. Interesting stuff. All right, I'll pick up down there next to that gobbing. All right, as promised, I'm down here by the gobbing, having to slid down. Both of us are laying on our backs now because we had to slide down. You can see it runs back there and there's about 18 inches of clearance right there. And it looks like it drops off again, hard to say. I frankly don't care enough to uh, push through and find out, because these all look pretty much the same. I think the most interesting thing down here is this gobbing that's all along the side there and over here. All right, I spoke too soon. Jake's running up there and just taking a look at it. Oh, yeah, we're good, this is the end. Oh, that's the end? Yep. Outstanding. Yep. So that is the end right there. We'll head back to the main at it and see if I think we might have covered everything. But if there's anything else we haven't covered, we'll check it out. We just finished checking out that section, which was a good workout. And the section we need to run down to intersect the main at it is there. So we're gonna head down there, making our way through this stuff which looks like a pain, so I think I'll pick up down there. We just came from up there, and I was hoping it would get easier here, but it's not. You see how my body is positioned, and that's because it's very low here, and we're gonna have to crawl out through this gobbing to there. Looks like there's something going off to the left and to the right. The main at it should be to the right, but we'll find out. All right, making our way through this extremely low section here. Uh, all right, there's a uh, stope and a lot of gobbing right there. And then this is where it drops down to the main attic down here. As you can see, uh, early in the video, my buddy looked down from there. So, unfortunately, it's actually probably easiest for us to push on through here and slide down that first section. So, carry on. Just crawl through that section where that uh, gobbin is right there. Making our way through all these slabs right here which is a drag, I smashed my finger on them because they shift whenever you put your hand on them. 
And the main adit should be down there somewhere. We'll head back there and see what we can find. We made our way over the slabs back there. And indeed, the main adit is down that way. My buddy's dropping down. It's just stopey back here. Stopes running off in all directions. We've seen enough of that. We're super hungry. We're way overdue for lunch. So we're going to make our way out and uh, have some lunch. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is pretty good for a video I abandoned because I thought we were done. It's to have it turn into this is pretty cool. So thank you, Jake. Appreciate that. Starting the process of digging that one out. All right, I lied. I'm gonna film us going out through this uh, tiny hole that was excavated. Not an easy squeeze, but it sure opened up a world of uh, underground mine exploring for us. All right, now I'm gonna turn the camera off for good. So we're coming out of the mine and we noticed this sign here, sort of hidden away on the side of the road which uh, is obviously an old PG&E sign. And we have no idea how old it is. I'm guessing sort of 20s, 30s. But it should be easy to look up based on the guy's name right there. We can look it up when we get home. But this is pretty cool. I've never seen a sign like this before. We're assuming that says uh, safety. I mean, somebody shot it, but we assume it said an interest of safety. Only authorized persons may enter. The attic is just up there, and we found that PG&E sign sort of in there. So it's obviously the electrical building down here. You can see the remains of these transformers I'm standing on. And then that, electric, that old vintage electrical equipment down there. Pretty solid structure right here. You can see how thick that platform right there is. And there's all these metal, that's almost like roof shingles, but I know they're not. I just don't know enough about electricity to know what those would have been. There's a huge stack of them right there. A couple of big insulators right there. So I know these were somehow involved in the generation or distribution of electricity. I just don't know how. But I know there are electricians in the audience that will tell us. But not that much left out here. We were expecting to see uh, a lot of gravel and river rock that they didn't use or didn't need in the mine, but there's none of it out here at all. The only thing that's out here is actual waste rock from the mine. You know, the bo broken up rock like this. Not a river rock. So, I couldn't have left all of it in the mine. I don't know what happened to it. And they hauled it away for aggregate or something. Who knows? But as you can see, the sun's starting to set. So, we uh, start hiking out of here. So, which is out that way. All right, you know I can't help myself from looking around. So, we were just looking around some more and came across this old comb, which is hard to read on the, hard to read the lettering right there. But it says, warranty something unbreakable. Been there a very long time and it's broken so should we get our money back